is the the pearl. Abby? Don't leave. Abby, don't leave. Clinton. Clinton. Is Abby your daughter? How old is she? Six. Uh, she was six. Abby passed away six months ago. Leukemia. I'm so sorry, my dear. Thank you. We... My husband and I, healing is hard. People, it's time for some changes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ile du Soleil, or Island of the Sun, as we non-French speakers like to call it. My name is Ray Tepper, and it is my job to make sure you are all safe and comfortable. Let's find out who we have with us today. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Clinton Hines. That's Reverend and Mrs. Hines. Sorry, my bad. Uh, welcome, Reverend. Ms. Alice Randolph. Ms. Alice Randolph? No. No, that's my grandmother, Naomi Holloway. And I'm Evan Holloway. All right, Holloway's I got. Are you Alice Randolph? Yes. That's me. Very good, thank you. Everyone, it is now time to start your vacation. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> right this way. Evan, wait for me. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely lovely. Oh, this is great. Oh, what a marvelous room. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Isle du Soleil. Honey, look at this place. I'm Eric Nordholm, and this is my beautiful wife, Laura Cook Nordholm, and we are the owners and operators of the Isle du Soleil Resort. I manage the business in, but the ambiance, well, it's all Laura. <laughs> oh, it's simply beautiful here. Thank you. <laughs> this property has been in my family for over 300 years. 300 years? Yes. Each guest room is individually designed, and we have a separate bungalow for guests who require privacy. That's, That's me. me. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> I'm just shaking. <laughs> Hello. OK, walk with me. I'll show you the grounds. 300 years. 300 years. Oh, my goodness. Everything we eat is from the island. The actual site of the resort is the land that once belonged to a root priestess 
And it's said to be imbued with healing powers. Please help yourselves. We have shrimp fried in a rice flour batter. We have plantains with a pink sea salt. Uh, can I just get a burger and fries? Evan. What? I'm on vacation, right? That's okay. We'll cook him a burger. We got veggie, we got chicken, even goat. My grandson will eat what is being served where he can wait until dinner. Three cheers for child abuse. But luckily, you aren't a child. You know what? I think I'm going to forage for my lunch. Maybe I'll find some poison berries. Don't stain your shirt. <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> We have one ourselves. I'm sure we can exchange war stories. Thank you. May I get you some tea? Oh, gosh, yes. Tea would be glorious. Let me just go pick the lime. Are you... Are you making lime leaf tea? You know it? Yes, I, I actually do. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just say when. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, don't be shy. Yeah? Mm. All right. Oh, load it up, load it up. Let's eat over there, Clinton. Oh, I can't get enough of this view. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in and find the room. Lay down. I need a nap. Stop hiding now. How'd you know I was here? The birds told me. Every single step you made through the forest, you scared the birds, and they flew off ahead. You knew exactly where you were at all times. So what are you doing? Some kind of hoodoo? It's a gullah blessing. The sage purifies my intention, and my prayer gives thanks and opens up the four directions. So, like, what are you singing? What does that mean? It means healing place. Okay. Right. If you say so. Freya Cook Nordum. Nice to meet you. Evan. Evan Holloway. Okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. You just said that all, like... Bond. James Bond. Like I'm supposed to recognize you or something? Well, um, I am the grandson of Senator Wilson Holloway. Oh, cool. He was amazing. He's retired now, right? Actually, he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Evan Holloway. Why are you here? Vacation? Yeah. Okay. What are you calling me a liar? <laughs> no, it's just you wouldn't be the first guest we've had who's running from something. You know, this island tends to attract the wounded birds. Come on. Let's get you back to the resort. My parents like to call Isle du Soleil, but I call it Runaway Island. What if I don't want to go back just yet? Well, you also wouldn't be the first guest to be eaten by gators. Come on, city boy. Is it to your liking? Oh yes, it's lovely, thank you, but it's, uh, it's bringing back memories I'm not sure I want remembered. <laughs> it's not the tea. It's the island. It has that effect on people. What me? Hey. Where you been? 
So did you use your help when the guest arrived? I was actually helping one of them. I found him prowling around the forest. Oh, well, thank God you found him before he fell into a mudslide. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to go clean up and come back and help you guys with dinner. Hold on. Did you get a chance to look at those college acceptance letters that I left on your desk? No need. And why not? Because I'm not going to any college. Freya, we've talked about this. Um. You cannot stay here forever. Baby, you have Smith, Stanford, Spellman, and Columbia all waiting to hear back from you. Freya, if you're worried about the money, it's I'm not... not worried about anything. I just don't need to go anywhere. Everything I need to learn is right here. That's all. See you guys later. This is all your fault. And how am I to blame for her stubbornness? This is clearly from your side of the gene pool. I'm tired of being mean, Mommy, okay? You're up from here right now. I got it. You'd better. We don't have much time. These colleges, they're not going to wait forever to hear. They'll move on. Ooh. Mr. Nordholm, mm -hmm. I need to finish cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Nordholm, how about we just skip straight to dessert? Later, I promise. Mm. You pinky promise? <laughs> Are we six? You've got this mean mommy thing down cold. Get, get, get out, get Ooh. out. Oh! How old is this house? It's, it, it's magnificent. You know, it's part of the old summer house. It actually predates the plantation. So when do we get to see that? The plantation? I'm afraid that's gone. The slave cemetery is all that's left. And you can't go there. So much for the one cool thing to do here. Sorry I'm late. Hi. That's a really beautiful dress. Thank you. It's much nicer than the one you wore to the music awards. Ah, uh, that's who you are with the wardrobe mouth. D did you just pinch me? Like, who still does that? Sorry, you, you must have me confused with somebody else. I'm just Mary. Mary Hayes. You checked in as Alice Randolph. Fine. It's not Hayes, Murphy, or Randolph. It's Jeffreys. I'm Kira Jeffreys. You know, my dear, I don't actually care who you are, but the food is getting cold, and I do care about that. Yes. Mr. Hines, I understand that you're a minister. Will you please do us the honor in leading us in grace? Um, if it's all the same to you, uh, I would like to defer to the other fine men and women at the table. Oh, come on, Clinton. I said no. Why can't that be enough? Thank you, God, for everyone and everything. Amen. And that will cover it. Excuse me. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, no apology needed. I'm, I'm sorry to upset him. Man, this soup is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's an old island recipe. She crab bisque. She crab, he crab was the difference. <laughs> well, it's called that because it's made from pregnant crabs and their babies. That's a bit too much information. Mm. Oh crap. Oh, whoa, 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 get, you. get away. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> so horrible.
horrible. What? Not you, baby. The dinner, it's... It couldn't have been any worse. You could have barfed into the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. I'm, but that was pretty bad. Mm, yeah, it was. But what, what was... What was worse was their sadness. All those people, each one, they're just all so sad and miserable. I've never seen a sadder bunch in my life. And you know, we get some pretty wounded people here. All right. Say it. We got to help these people, Eric. This is a place for healing and helping others. All the turn down service and lobster bisque and spa massages in the world aren't gonna do a thing for these folks. So why give it to them? What? Come here. Now what if we take all their resort expectations and toss them? <laughs> They'd freak out. Or Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I married a genius. I'm glad you finally left him for me. Thank you, honey. Did you sleep well? Ah, uh, not too bad. Thank Lovely. you. How about yourself? Quite well. Thank you so much. Ah. Hi. Good morning. Did I miss breakfast? <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen anyone yet. Breakfast bell, but no breakfast. <laughs> Story of my life. Ah, here we go. Oh, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Oh, great. All right. Uh, I was hoping for an omelet. Well, do you know how to make an omelet? No, not really. Why are you asking me? Well, my parents are both sick. Oh. Anyway, they're in bed till they get better. So, if you guys want to eat, I'm going to have to ask you to pitch in and help. Is there something else here? Like cereal or something? Um, yeah, we have cereal. But if you want milk with that, you're going to have to go down to the goat. She did not just say that. Oh, yes, she did. And if you want more fruit, you have to pick it. And if you want chicken... All right, just stop right there. Yeah, thanks. Okay, it's not for forever. When the boat comes, he'll bring fresh supplies. But for the <laughs> next few days, I need people who can cook. Volunteers. Anyone? Good. Anyone to help Naomi? Oh, good. Great. Oh. Okay. Um, anyone know how to fish? <laughs> well, thank God they still had champagne. Ah. Yes. I'm not going in there. <laughs> you want to eat? <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. You sure? You won't talk and scare away the fish? Okay.
Come on. Yeah, yeah. Watch me. Okay, it's just all in the wrist. Pretty good at that for a city, boy. <laughs> well, I've been doing this for a long time. My grandpa owned a spot in the country right on the pond. Mm -hmm. And this man was a senator. Most dignified guy you ever saw, but on the weekends, you know, he'd take off his shoes, roll up his pants, and fish, work in the garden, get dirty, what have you. Man, you never seen my grandma do anything like that. I don't think I've ever even seen her toes. She's about as uptight as they come. Well, you won't have to worry about things like Google hits once you marry that nice-looking young man. Yeah, well... I don't think that's gonna happen. Is that why you're hiding out here? <clears throat> you know, ever since I was a baby, my grandmother's been dressing me up in a suit and tie just so I can make a good impression. So she could say I was following in my grandfather's footsteps. But what about my footsteps? Yeah, what about your footsteps? Exactly. What I'm saying, what about your footsteps? What's your plan? Because not wanting to be your grandfather, that's fine, but that's not a plan. Wanting to be a rebel? Well, that's fine too, but that's not a plan either. So what are you, a counselor and a preacher? Honestly, man, I don't know what I am. <laughs> now they'll bite. Oh, what? <laughs> you got them dogs in there, now they're gonna bite. <laughs> How did you two meet? Our publicist set it up. Said it would be good for our images. They do that now? Publicists? Yeah. Oh, I think famous people meet. Well, that seems rather efficient. It's horrible. And if you're both popular with the public, next thing you know, you're engaged to be married and... You're thinking you're in love because, well, that's what the general public is saying you are. God, this was not supposed to happen. This was just supposed to be a media stunt for us both, not some thing with feelings involved. There were never any feelings involved. Well, apparently there are now. <laughs> you don't have to pretend to understand for my benefit. My life is nothing like yours. Don't underestimate life in D.C. politics, dear. <sighs> mm. Either you love this boy or you don't. Either way, you just can't keep hiding out here. Decide? Then go handle your business, black woman. Hey, whoa. You okay? I've been feeling a little under lately. Maybe I have a pinch of what your parents have. Hopefully I didn't give it to them. Yeah, truly was, man. Warning for me. <laughs> and I'm hungry, I'm guys. <laughs> Did you have a good day today, Clinton? Yeah. <laughs> wanna wanna go down to the beach? It's pretty there, and uh, I find I'm, I'm. You go, baby. No, I'm tired. I just I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. Yeah, you you go. Clinton. What? Smells good. Watch it. 
You're burned. I'm fine. There's a first aid kit around here somewhere. I said I'm fine, Pearly. What'd you call me? Pearly. I called you Pearly. You remember, don't you? I can't do this. What? What, what are you doing? No, 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 no. What are, you I, doing that's, what are you doing? I'm on a trip with my grandson. The last, last thing I expect is to look up and find you. Oh I my just... God. You are still as lovely as you always were. <sighs> and... <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be in the army? Are you some big muckety muck in the army? Muckety muck. Well, you... Yes. I was in the army. I was an officer. But then I left and I came here. I'm uh, really sorry. I heard about your husband. Thank you. I never married. I just never expected I'd ever see you again. We were so young. Yeah. We were. But what do we do now? Get up. For oh, what? Why? Come on, we're gonna go get berries. Girl, I'm out here suffering from starvation. Matter of fact, get me some with some whipped cream, a double cheeseburger and a pickle, and some broccoli. I'll even eat broccoli. No. Come you? on. All right. All right. Slow down. Hey, why are you running? You know, this whole Sheena Queen of the Jungle thing would usually be kind of hot, but I'm getting bit by everything on this island with more than four legs. Oh, quit being such a baby. God, man. These are my ancestors. This is a slave cemetery. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Come on. I want to show you something else. Whoa. I know. This tree stood on the grounds of what was once a plantation. It was called the Maison Bleu. Cool. So you're like really connected to this place. Oh, yeah. Now, this is me, Evan. This is my home. This is my home. And my parents. They want me to leave here and go to college? <laughs> Let me guess, you don't want to go? No. 
Why would I want to? You know, what's out there for me? Man, I wish I had that problem. My grandmother is the micromanaged queen. I can't breathe around that woman. Sometimes <laughs> I gotta just wild out to show I'm human, you know, show I'm an individual. Is that why you're here? Yeah. What'd you do? I got busted with a couple ounces on me. Serious? I know. This is way different than all the other stuff. There's more? Yeah, I kept her pretty busy. <laughs> well, what about your mother and father? Father? Your guess is about as good as mine. My mother had some drug issues and my grandparents took me away from her. I took it from your mom? I'm sorry. Do you at least stay in contact with her? No. No, I never knew her. You know, I, you know, it kind of sounds weird, but I really miss someone I never knew. That's not weird. Is that the boat? That's a boat? Let's go. Come on. Okay. Let me pack my stuff. There's no the time. We have to go now. <laughs> no. No. No, Mother Nate got these are my Jimmy Choo's. Get your own. Oh. 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 Wait. Oh. Hi, I'm looking for Kira Jeffries. I'm sorry, Mr. Barrows, but we're all full. No, next time it'd be advisable to make a reservation. Will you stop harassing this man? He's a Super Bowl guy. Hey, I'm a big fan, bro. Look, Kira Jeffries is here, right? Sure is. I mean, you can't give out that kind of information. Look, we're all full for the week, but I do have a small overflow space. It's not as nice, but it puts a roof over your okay, head. Okay, look, I'll take it. Okay. Just sign here. Okay. Keys, please. Oh, you don't need a key. Enjoy your stay. Is this how we treat guests? do you think, Mrs. Hines? I'm thinking I'm a married woman, Mrs. Holloway. Yes, you're married, but you're not dead. <laughs> Towel, young man. Mm. 
What? Yeah, <laughs> great to see you too. Why are you here, Raphael? I'm here for you. Why else? Oh, come on. Look, I'm confused. Now, I thought things were good between you and I, and then you suddenly up and disappeared. You won't return my calls? I don't know Most what- Most people would have picked up on the hint. Kira, when you disappeared, I hired a whole army of detectives to find you. I won't even go into what it's been like living in that tent. I came here because I was worried about you. Because I care. I have no interest in becoming your wife. You don't mean that. I do. You knew what this was when you got into it. It's not my fault if you got confused and you developed feelings for me. Maybe you just need to think about this. <laughs> There's nothing to think about. This isn't about you. This is about me. Maybe your rep should have explained that to you before they put you in my line of fire. The boat's not coming back until Monday. You stuck here with me until then. Guilty hoarding all of this food. Are they are they gonna be okay? What if, what if they're not okay, Eric? Well, it was your idea. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. No, it was. It was your idea. It was yours. <laughs> no, I'm quite certain that it was yours, baby. It was fully your idea. It was your idea. No, it wasn't. Oh, man, it was your idea. No, it wasn't. No, it was yours. No, it was oh. yours. Hi. Hi. Where have you been? Why haven't you checked in? Mom, I've been up to my elbows trying to run this place like you asked me to. Right? Okay, well talk, pigeon. What's happening out there? I've been going nuts hiding in here. Tell me everything. What? Well, it seems to be working. I mean, they're talking to each other, going out, doing things, even Reverend Hines. That's great. Isn't that great, Eric? Yeah, my idea works. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but these are really nice people, and I'm not sure how cool it is to manipulate them like this. No, 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 sweetheart. These people are changing and growing on their own. We're just giving them the room to be who they really are. Mm. Well, I'm glad you could do that for them. Some of us here are forced to be who you insist we are. Here we go. Oh, do I detect that we're venturing into the land of Freya Pick a College? Okay, look. I have to go. Okay, I have a jock in the overflow, dinner to cook. Oh, and um, Miss Vonda thinks she has what you have. What would that be? Uh, manipulitis? Did she say a jock? What is this? Sweet potato wine. I make it myself. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> What do you remember about me, Raymond? 
Well, uh, you were very pretty. And stuck up. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a small wonder that when you walked around with your nose stuck up in the air that you didn't drown when it rained. Thank you. <laughs> You're also very, very smart. Yeah. Maybe, maybe too smart, huh? Were you happy? Wilson was a difficult man to live with. But I loved him, yes. Wasn't much room in his life, his work, for me or for... Me. It was better after Melanie was born. Mel Melanie's our daughter. But Mel just wasn't the kind of daughter we expected. She was bold and rebellious and free-spirited. just... There was no room in our family for, for her voice, for her laughter, for... We kept... We kept trying to change her. The more we tried, the more she fought. Till... Oh, Raymond. <laughs> you don't know pain until you've seen your baby with a needle sticking out of her arm. Mm. Your hands are cold. Thanks for listening. Well, you trusted me to hear you, and that means an awful lot to me. Good night, Perla. Raymond. Yeah. Come inside. Are you sure? I'm a little bit drunk. You smell really good. Where have you been? Out. Out where? Walking. All day? Yes, all day. Clinton, we need to talk. Amanda, I'm tired. Let's just talk in the morning. This can't wait. Every day I avoid having this conversation with you is another day we grow further apart. Wanda, I... No. We talk now. 